Hello and welcome to this Marathi tutorial in which I'll describe how to answer question 7. Are you making progress towards achieving intended results? This video addresses indicator measurements. The previous video covered color-coded progress ratings and percent complete measurements. Before we get started, make sure to set the video to HD for best playback quality and also check out the other videos in this playlist that will help you answer each of these questions. You'll find the links to the playlist in the video description below. In this video for the third approach for tracking and reporting results, I'll show you how you can specify one or more intended future status values, shown in this graph by the black dots, and to gather indicator measurement values in the dates they were gathered, shown in this graph by the green bars. I'm also going to introduce the strategic plan view, a powerful and flexible reporting view in Marathi that allows you to view the content you've entered in different ways. We'll use the strategic plan view to look at a table of objectives with their associated indicators and any indicator measurement data. I'm going to return now to Marathi desktop and the marine example. I've opened the RAD elimination results chain from the marine example that is shipped with Marathi software. I'm going to turn on the indicator checkbox in the control bar. And you'll see triangles displayed for any factors that have indicators associated with them. Earlier we saw a measurable objective for eliminating rats on key islands by 2018. So if I slide the cursor over, you'll see the description of the specific indicator that would be measured to track that outcome. Similarly, we wanted to see the uh, boats visiting the islands having rat barriers in place and if I slide over to the triangle you'll see the indicator is the percentage of tour boats with the barriers in place. I can add indicator measurements and desired future values by double clicking on the triangle icon. You can see the future status value of 0 in 2018 and one past measurement value from 2015 of 45 rats caught. The zero corresponds to the intention to eradicate rats from the island by 2018. I'm going to add a new future status value and this is going to be a value of 10 uh, that we're hoping to achieve by, I'll just use the date widget here, by the end of June of 2017. So that really serves as a milestone uh, as we're working uh, from our current status down to zero. Also add a new measurement value and we'll use today's date and we'll say that we're now at 15. It's the most recent indicator measurement data. So we have two indicator measurement values and two desired future values and we'll see this in Marathi Share. I wanted to mention the management of relationships between objectives and indicators. Marathi automatically makes assumptions about the relationship between objectives and indicators and also strategies and activities depending upon where they sit. For example, this objective is assumed to be tied to this indicator because they're both sitting on the same factor. However, you can fine tune any of these associations. For example, you might want to include this indicator, the evidence of nest predation, uh, as part of the relationship to this objective. So if I double click on this objective, icon right here, you'll see that there's a uh, choose button. So we're on the objectives tab. Here's the indicators down here. And if I clicked on the choose button, I can control through checkboxes exactly which indicators are relevant to that objective. There's a similar choose button if I open up the objectives again where you can manage the specific relationship between an objective and any of the strategies and activities with that button. The activities we've seen so far have all addressed the actions the project team is taking to achieve the intended results. You also have activities associated with measuring the indicators and these monitoring activities also have who, when, and cost information. I now have added the monitoring activities for this results chain onto the diagram and I'll open up this one here by double clicking on it. And you can say who uh, and work effort and when information specified for monitoring activities as well. There's a check box on the activity dialog, if I open this back up again, where you can toggle between a regular activity and a monitoring activity, which you'll see you have a different color convention. In the work plan view, switch back over there, under the customized table 
button, you can choose between displaying only action rows of the table, only monitoring rows, and that will be uh, indicated there, or you can choose to see both of them at the same time with actions and monitoring. And you can see a combination of the different activities now in the work plan. Our results chain illustrates our theory of change for addressing one of the problems in our project in a diagram form. Like you saw for the situation analysis, you can add a narrative description to augment the diagram version. You can right click on the name of the results chain, select diagram properties, and you can see there's a details field for adding in a narrative theory of change. I want to conclude this video with a brief look at the strategic plan view, so I'll switch over to that view now. There are a couple of canned reports that you see tabs for at the top here. One is for the action plan, the next one is the monitoring plan, and then there's a tab that allows you to create lists of any single factors from RADI. Here we're looking at all of the goals. I could look at each of the individual objectives, you can see that there's different categories here, including looking at targets, biodiversity targets, or human well-being targets by themselves. However, the real power of the strategic plan view is the custom tab, where you can create any combination you want of rows and columns. Click on custom, and you're seeing a simple table in this case that combines each of the two different types of targets and any details that are associated with them. Don't be scared off by the large number of choices available when I open up the customized table dialog box. Marata used to have a large number of standard reports, but users kept requesting additional reports, and we eventually decided let's let users create whatever kind of report they'd like by picking what they want represented in rows in the table and what they want represented in columns. If I click on the Customize Table button for the table we're looking at right now, You'll see checkboxes in the row section here for each type of target, and under columns, one type of data, the details field. And that's creating this table we see over on the left. Spend a little time playing around with the table. It really isn't as complicated as it looks. You have a lot of flexibility for creating any kind of custom table you might want. I'll go ahead and close this one. And then let's create a new table showing objectives and their indicators. So I'm going to click on the Create Table. I'll start with a blank view. Now I'm going to come down in terms of the rows. I want the objectives to be displayed. I want the indicators to be displayed. And then in terms of columns, let's look at the current status. I'm going to drag this over to the right a little bit. And you'll see that there are objectives and corresponding indicators. And we're looking at the most recent indicator values. If I added measurements to this table, you'd see the two indicator measurements that you saw me enter in diagram view. Right now I'm looking at the content for all of Marathi. If I wanted to filter it by a single conceptual model or results chain, I could select it under that pull down at the top. And I'll go ahead and close the dialog box. That completes video 7C and rounds out the third of the three primary ways that you can track progress in Marathi. Progress ratings, percent complete measurements, and indicator measurements provide complementary ways of tracking progress for implementing conservation projects and tracking the results achieved. This also completes the set of videos covering questions 1 to 7 that focused on Marathi desktop, where I've shown you how to get information entered into Marathi. The next videos in the playlist will shift to looking at how to get data out of Marathi by sharing information in the cloud-based version of Marathi, Marathi Share. Marathi Share allows you to browse an online repository of conservation projects, look at dashboard reports, and now a new mapping view so you can show where your project is located and show spatial information for targets, threats, and other factors. I've also included a short video for question 8 that shows you a few reports generated through the Marathi Companion tool, which generates Word, Excel, and PowerPoint reports from Marathi. Next up is a video that introduces Marathi Share and shows you how to view project level information.